over a 10-year period, Berkshire's growth in intrinsic value would outperform the S&P 500. If you agree, could you estimate by how many percentage points? <laughs> well, the answer is I won't estimate anything, but if we just own stocks and we own the S&P, our performance would be significantly worse than the S&P because we would be incurring a corporate tax, which would now be 21 percent on capital gains, plus possibly some state income taxes, and effectively our tax rate on dividends is, is depends where they're held, but, uh, somewhere between 10 and a half or, or 11 and 13 percent. So Berkshire is a mistake, uh, or it's, a, it's at a corporate disadvantage, simply by the way the tax law runs, compared to owning an index fund, which has no tax at the corporate level, but, but uh, just passes through uh, to shareholders. So, I don't, uh, I don't know whether we'll, we'll outperform the S&P 500 or not. I know that we'll behave with our shareholders' money exactly as we would behave with our own money. And we will have, we'll basically tie our, our fortunes in life to, to this business, and we will be very cognizant of doing anything that can destroy value in any significant way, but we will probably uh, if, if there were to be a, a very strong bull market from this point forward, or we would probably underperform during that period. If uh, the market five years from now or ten years from now is, is at this level or below, we will probably overperform. But I, I, I don't quite understand the question in terms of uh, when it says the total return of the S&P over a ten-year period and Berkshire's growth in intrinsic value would outperform. I, I, I don't know whether that will happen or not, Charlie. Well, there would be one big advantage for the shareholders that pay taxes, and that is that uh, the, the Berkshire shareholders, even if we just match the S&P, we'd be way ahead after taxes. We all have a pretty decent role in life and a pretty good position. We shouldn't be too disappointed. No. If we, we could have structured going back to partnership days, we could have structured things so that actually over a period of time doing the same things we did uh, would, have actually, would, would have come out somewhat more favorably for shareholders if we kept it to the original partnership group. But, but the, the present form hasn't worked badly, although we have in, had periods when our corporate capital gains tax as opposed to the individual uh, I think it got up to 39 percent for uh, a couple of years or one year, and certainly was 35 percent for a long time. And then on top of that, we had uh, state income taxes in some cases, and they exceeded. Uh, well, I mean, if you owned a pass-through fund, you, you, you did not have that level of possible double taxation. Now, if you hold your stock forever, you don't pay it. But if you actually sell your stock, you've had a double tax effect. We're not complaining in any way, shape, or form. This country has treated us incredibly well, and we've had this huge tailwind, which I wrote about in the annual report, and it wouldn't have happened in any other country. So, uh, it's uh, we we've been very lucky that that we've been operating in this country at this time. And 